And now we're going to open it up to you for your questions to our participants and our witnesses. Who would like to begin? Okay, now I'm going to start calling you out. And Yostein, you will be first. Do you have a question for one of the panelists? Uh -huh. uh, good afternoon, Lois. Thank you for... We, we went to school together almost in the United yeah, States. Yeah. It's good to see you yeah, back. Yeah. Good Minnesotan. Thank you. Uh, I've been um, in diplomacy most of my life. I've also been in the oil and gas business. Uh, I've been in academia a bit. And um, my last posting was actually in Houston, Texas. I came back home. I met Oswald at a conference in Sistavanga. He said, I'm going to do something exciting a year from now. Can you come on board and be around? It's been a great journey, and my task, I want to, my job defined Usman, he can be quite precise. He says, I like to do this in Norway, I like to do it in Oslo, and if, it, if we land well, we might do it again and again. But to do it in Norway, I need to have some sort of understanding and acceptance in this country for what I'm doing. He didn't put it that way directly. What he actually is saying here we have business really taking on leadership. We would like the public sector, the government of Norway, public institutions to join in, in a partnership. And um, we have uh, here today, for two days, had a fantastic menu, a fantastic meal, and uh, we are here actually also for free. So what Oswald has done, which is very unusual, this conference, point one, there are more people from abroad and from within Norway right here. That's an achievement in itself. Point two, he's doing it without taxpayers' money, which is quite unusual in this country, and I cheer you for that, I salute you for that, but there is a... <laughs> and uh, I think uh, my observation and my recommendation, if I may be so humble, is that embrace this event embrace the philosophy and the opportunity for changing our mindset. And uh, I'd like to just say I'm proud to be part of the journey and we should all cherish what's happening here and uh, seize the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, speech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, everyone. I, I did tell this to all of the ones in the blue um, uh, group. Uh, I, my name is Marcus. I'm uh, representing a company called Thunderwave in the environment of a company called uh, Future Leaders and Young Sustainable Impact. We are invited here uh, from Innovation Norway at, through board Strandheim and we are, I'm the second youngest I think in this audience and we have been going around trying to to make one thing happen and this trying to match and bridge um, established industry in Norway with the young generation. So we are walking around, not trying to be friends, but to try to provoke you to actually take a risk. And, you know, these special collaborations, you know, what would happen if you actually took some money and poured into the young innovators that are so struggling in Oslo? Like the, the, the segment under mesh, you know, for these, those who know. And just, I was talking to some of you, and I, I hope that you will try to invite the young people and just listen to their value proposition. It's the only thing we need is 45 minutes, and we will rock your world. I guarantee it. And uh, hopefully we have a, we have a introduction and, um, uh, to our environment and our, our community collaboration, the 8th of uh, December. And hopefully we'll find uh, Elin or, or me or someone else from Young Sustainable Impact, Danat and Sark. And come and listen to what the young radicals are making in the basement under your companies. I dare you. <laughs> yeah. We have time for one more. Is, is there someone else? Okay, right there, down here. Oh. Hi, uh, my name is Anna Douglas. Um, I have been honored, literally, I feel so privileged 
to have come and spent the time here with pretty impressive people. Uh, so I'm a bit nervous now. But um, my, my question is actually about this, exactly the same thing, the risk, the, the innovation, the challenge. I was in the marketplace and I said, well, this is a skate park. I want a skateboard. I want a skater. You know, we, ne we need to invite that radical in if we are going to talk about the change and the risk mm. and the challenge. We need to get from words to real risk taking. Um, I'm the person who I, I challenge myself every day to take the risk, to do the engagement, to speak to the people. Um, but it's hard to get access to you guys in, in the business when you're not speaking the right language mm. or in the in crowd or in the right tribe. So how do we take that next step to mm. active, to activate that radical risk so that we can collaborate? Thanks. Yeah, thank you. As well? Mm -hmm. So, um, so uh, um, two or three answers there very quickly. First of all, there is an app where you can contact me anytime. <laughs> and, and I will then make introductions uh, or people on our team. Uh, and the second is that I, I believe and I really feel in this room that people are open-minded and collaborative. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I've experienced this in my, my own life, uh, starting with very modest businesses to do other things, that if it comes down to the strength of your ideas and your persistence, and then I'm sure you will be very successful. But access has been established. No, a bigger question for us going forward is how do you look at all the different very exciting uh, ideas and proposals from the studios? How do you take them forward? People are working on that and people will report back on how that will be done in a very good way. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, please, yes. Yeah, um, in fact, I'll just fill up. I, I, you can do it even simpler, you can just call me. <laughs> much easier than using his app. <coughs> But, but I, th I think the point here, we, we spend a lot of time with young entrepreneurs, uh, differentiators, or uh, even hackers, right? One of the key things is to accept to be tested, right? I used to use this mm. picture, say we, we fling a lot of spaghetti at the wall. Some sticks, some don't. But that means that the, the, it's actually the force of the idea, it's the strength of the idea, mm. but it's also that acceptance of being flung at the wall, if you like, mm. uh, to see whether it sticks or not. And then it's the persistence. There is a very, very radical uh, connection between the amount of times you've exposed yourself to that real wall and the success rate. So my encouragement is just go out there, try, accept that it's sometimes really hard, actually, to, make, uh, to stick to that wall. But the more times you try, the better it is. And for whatever you do, do not give up. Great. Thank you to all of you.